Hello YouTube, this is Joe. Um, I've been away for a while, mostly because I've been sick and I didn't have a voice to speak of. Every year around the holidays, you know, Thanksgiving, New Year's, Christmas, all that stuff, I always tell myself I'm not going to get sick this year for sure. And every year I get sick anyways, and this time it was a doozy. Um, so... I didn't really have much of a voice, and I probably wouldn't have made great videos, <laughs> so I just stayed off YouTube for a while. However, I read my feedback, and I saw a lot of people who looked at my videos regarding the installation of Windows 7, because uh, there were a couple of different ways to do it, uh, or to install it uh, next to Linux, um, and vice versa, and they asked, what is it you're using to install uh, Windows 7? And the short answer is an OEM install, but I think I forgot to explain what that is. OEM stands for uh, Original Equipment Manufacturer. Basically, this would be anybody who builds PCs. Um, you know, there are small businesses that make custom computers or hobbyists like myself that simply prefer to use a computer that they built themselves, mostly because it gives them more options. When you buy a computer at the store, it will come baked in with software that necessarily you don't want. And step one when you plug it in is uh, remove, remove, remove all the garbage. And then these days, because um, uh, Microsoft in particular, it feels like they're under attack because they made a terrible product, Windows 8, that nobody wants, um, felt that it was necessary to uh, bake things into the BIOS to make it hard to get Windows 8 out of there and put something else on in its place. Uh, Microsoft, just make a better product. You know, all this, you know, trying to take away everybody's choices just makes people mad. So uh, that's my free advice to the incoming CEO of Microsoft. Oh, by the way, this is my little rant. Uh, I'll keep it short. You'll see a lot of people who say, Windows 8's not a failure. Yeah, right. Yeah, the, the CEO of Microsoft had to step down. And the chairman, Bill Gates, who founded the company, had to step down because all their products in the last year were a blazing success and all their shareholders are happy with them. Ha ha, Microsoft. Um, I mean, everybody, we, we, we told you that Windows 8 was bad. You said, oh, they're just a bunch of haters. Don't listen to them. People are just going to buy whatever we say. Well, surprise. That's why I have a video here telling people how to get Windows 7. <laughs> Let's see how many people view it. <clears throat> Uh, oh, by the way, there are different versions. Um, in my video, I was demonstrating... Here, let's see, I'll scroll down. Um, I I'm sorry, I've got two tripods for the camera. Of course, I don't know where either one of them are. Ugh, this is my fault. Um, yes, yes, I could do a screen capture, but I'll show you why I'm not doing that here in a moment. Um, in my video, I demonstrate uh, videos, plural, the Windows 7 Home Premium Edition, mostly because it's cheaper. As you can see here, it's being listed on Newegg. Dot com for $99. Newegg will sell you this. You just type in Windows 7, you know, OEM, and, and this page will come up. And, uh, you know, they have different editions. The professional edition, uh, oh, by the way, remember, uh, I use the 64-bit edition because I was using more than 4 gigabytes of RAM. When you look at 32-bit and 40 or 64-bit, that, that tells you how much memory it can address. 32-bit is 4 gigs and under. Uh, any modern computer is coming with more than 4 gigs usually these days. Um, so 64-bit is probably the way we're going to go from here on out, unless you're installing it to an older PC. So say, for example, you're getting off of Windows XP and you decide you want to stick with Windows. Oh, pardon me. <clears throat> and so you're going to go directly from Windows XP to Windows 7. By the way, don't wait. Uh, Microsoft is, is uh, realizing that... Uh, when people had a choice between Windows 7 and Windows 8, they chose Windows 7. <laughs> so Microsoft plans to discontinue all of these OEM sales by the end of 2014. Uh, well, who knows? The incoming CEO may change that, but uh, I wouldn't count on it. I'd buy your copy now if you plan to uh, build any PCs within the next year or so. <laughs> and you'd like to have Windows 7. I I'm guilty. I'm you're looking at a Windows 7 computer right now. Uh, well, Windows 7 and Linux. It actually boots both. Uh, because, uh, well, all right. Uh, the only thing I use Windows for is gaming. That, that's my dirty secret. I'm just waiting for all of my favorite games to be available on Steam. Uh, Linux, um, well, and as Steam blazes forward, more manufacturers will say, Yay, look at that. I can make money making my games on Linux. Um, and then that'll be it. There will be no more reason for me to have Windows at all because I can do everything. Um, 
All right, back to the differences. Uh, so 32-bit is 4 gigs and under, 64-bit is 4 gigs and above. However, there's a caveat. Um, see this professional edition? Uh, the idea behind the professional edition is that this is what you would find in offices, and it has the ability to log into, da-da, drumroll please, Active Directory um, uh, domains where you know Microsoft sets up a network and you have to log into a server and put your username in order to share all the resources on that network. Well, that might not be very compelling for people like me who are at home and I don't run a Windows server, uh, at, you know, with a domain to run my house. Uh, I just want to play some video games. So, how do they sell more copies of Windows? Because you know it's all about making money. So, Windows is specifically crippled. Um, if you have lots of memory like I do, in fact, this computer here has 32 gigs of RAM, uh, Windows Home Premium will only let you use 16 of it. Yeah, that that's legit, you know. 64-bit edition, and it says, oh, more than 16 gigs of RAM? Well, I see it, but you can't use it, haha. <laughs> and, uh, and if you want more, upgrade to the professional edition, which will use all of it. There's no technical limitation, you know, there's no reason for that. That's just an artificial block that Microsoft put in there. Linux, on the other hand, could care less. Linux is like, great, I'll use all the memory I see. So I spend most of my time in Linux. Um, oh, and when you order one of these things, uh, and like I said, uh, I, I got the home premium 64-bit uh, OEM. Uh, this is what shows up. So, you know, plain vanilla white box here, um, you know, for Microsoft. Uh, uh, this one's the United States and Canada version. I, I guess they have a different one for other countries. And here, let's see. Again, like I said, I, I have tripods. I don't know where the tripods are. Sorry. Um, so you get a nice little thing. Welcome! You know. <laughs> and in all the videos where everybody's asking me, how are you installing Windows 7? This is what it's being installed off of. This disk is bootable. You just stick this in the uh, CD-ROM drive, you set your computer so that it, it's ready to boot from CD, and this thing will fire right up when you turn it on. Um, and then, of course, there's a product key code that's uh, a sticker on the back here. Uh, however, if I don't want to show that on the video. It's already registered, but eh, no need to give people any ammo to play with. Um, so when it comes up, it'll ask you, please register me, and it'll ask for that, that key code, which is on the sticker on the back. And uh, then you register it and you have your copy of Windows. However, one benefit that this disk does offer by having a disk uh, that's physical rather than coming pre-installed on a computer is you can install it on lots of computers in trial mode. Um, now of course, that means they're going to self-destruct after a preset period of time and lock themselves out. But for someone like me who is making, say, tutorial videos and I want to show a fresh install of Windows or a fresh install of Linux on Windows 7. Um, it's great because I can install it over and over and over again because I'm not planning on keeping it. I just use it for a, an hour or two and then blow it away. And uh, <laughs> you don't have to activate it in order to use it for, you know, like I said, the trial period. Um, so it's it's great for testing purposes. Particularly if, um, if you're a, an aspiring information technology person, and you're going through, say, you know, a workbook that has lessons on how to service and support uh, Windows-based computers, it's a good idea to get one of these. You can try them out in virtual machines or on, on a physical computer that you set aside for it. And, you know, you're going to end up making mistakes, reinstalling things a few times, but that's how we learn. And... Uh, uh, using that disk, you'd be able to do that. Okay, so that's the short, short version. Uh, sorry if I was a little ranty as usual. <laughs> but uh, so all the uh, videos that you see where Windows 7 is demonstrated, it's actually been installed off of this disk. And uh, you can get yours uh, at Newegg or, or any of your other favorite suppliers. For me, Newegg is just cheaper. Uh, well, or in many cases, simpler. And uh, just click the button, give them my my information, and it shows up in a few days. I like New Egg.